Hey guys, and welcome back to XCOM Terror from the Deep. When we last left off, uh, we had just completed our first terror mission, which was pretty terrifying, not gonna lie, but we uh, we came out on top, more or less. Uh, it wasn't exactly a flawless run. We did lose loads and loads of men. I've rearranged the resolution of the geoscape, so it's a little bit better, and also we can see our funds at all time, which is really useful. So first thing we need to do is go to options and, no we don't, we need to go to bases, have a quick check. We've also almost got our living quarters, but we do need, we do need to get some more aquanauts because we've got six guys left, so let's go for another six. We have to get some more tomorrow. We also needed, um, 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 um. We need some more ammo as well. We did get some bolts ordered up for our harpoon. Yeah, we probably need some more ammo as well. So let's go get some more rounds for the gas cannon. Because, I mean, explosive bolts for the gas cannon? That's kind of a hell of a lot of wind right there. So we're going to go for that. 20 loads of that. I'm not sure about phosphorus rounds. Might be useful. Maybe. Get a couple of stacks of uh, standard rounds as well, although not too bothered about those. Hydrojet. We don't want the hydrojet actually. I do need to sell that. Possibly some more torps. Might as well go for the large boys. Get 10 more large torpedoes. We need so many more grenades. We're going to be living and dying on our grenades, especially for the early game, I reckon. Particle disturbance grenade is basically proximity. Eh, don't really need that just yet. Chemical flares, get a pack of those. Thermal tasers, like, maybe. We do need to start taking some guys alive. But I think we might wait until we can research uh, a better, more reliable method. Because it's kind of dangerous running up to the aliens, especially this early in the game. Um, we do have some alien technology now. We've got the sonic cannons, which we are going to be keeping those bad boys. Sonic blaster rifles. Eh, probably not going to be using those. Sonic pulses, we want. Zerbite, we need. This is so important. Uh, deep one corpses. We don't need all of those. We only need one. Gilman corpse. Get them out of here. Aquaplastics also incredibly useful. We need them. Now, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to make three thousand two hundred. For that, that's nice. Or so 320,000 for that, not too bad. Okay, cool. Um, I do want to get general stores. I do want to get another. Do you want another living quarters? Uh, maybe. Maybe another living quarters. <laughs> and. We want another lab. Not enough money for another lab. Damn, fair dues. All right, well, we'll leave it for that for now then. Cool. Let's see what happens. We need to wait to get our dudes. Living quarters is done. Excellent. Go to base. So we need to start manufacturing. We can't yet, can we? Obviously. Research. Particle disturbance sensor is... Yeah average right so we need some more money then we need more scientists get two more technicians round it up uh, we're gonna get as many scientists as we can afford which is not many at all damn right okay well nice 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 okay that's cool solid harpoon bolts nice Okay, that's fine. 
Oh shit, I already ordered those in the last episode. Well, we've got plenty at least, I suppose. That's fine, alien containment. We need, we've got some more dudes, actually. Right, now we've got our dudes. Let's equip the sub. Let's get everyone on board. That's fine, we've only got 12, actually no. What we want. Yeah, yeah, because we want four units of space left over. So we can put this bad boy on board. Right, harpoon clips. Let's remove another jet harpoon. And we'll have four gas cannons. Uh, armor piercing bolts, that's fine. It's the explosives we need. These bad boys are game changers. We're going to be relying pretty heavily on those things. Uh, in fact, actually, put everything on here because then I don't think it takes up storage in our base, which is great. We need as many nades as we can because we're going to be living on those for a little while. Chemical flares as well. Cool. That's fine. All right. Nice. So, uh, we want everybody to have nades. Luckily, they are really light, which is good. Uh, phosphorus bolts, don't care too much about these standard ones, to be honest. Uh, right. One second, guys, I'm going to go equip everybody. Okay, so that should be everyone pretty much weaponized. Uh, we also want that bad boy on board. It's got plenty of ammo. Cool. Okay. So we should pretty much be loaded for the next combat. So for now, yes, view, particle disturbance sensor. This new device uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer systems to identify moving enemy units. Click on the disturbance sensor icon in the tactical display. Select use sensor from the menu. The sensor display shows an arrow in the center, which is the direction the antiquanaut is facing. Yeah, these are weird, like, I've seen a few people really, really like them. I don't ever really use them, but in the early game, they are fantastic. Four. We're gonna go for the deep one corpse. Now, we're, let's go for gorse technology. Some people skip gorse, but I kind of like using it. This will be our next generation weapon platform. You can leapfrog it with the alien technology, but uh, I like it, I like it. It's a good little money maker. So yes, particle disturbance sensor. These bad boys, um, they're not really very useful, but in the early game, what we can do is sell them. Somehow, I'm pretty sure you can set it to unlimited quantities, but we're just going to do that. So they're going to sell them. So every month we're going to be making best part of three quarters of a million on these. The more technicians we get, the more they'll be able to crack them out, the more they'll be able to sell them. And we've just got more. <laughs> we've just got more. So that's cool. Uh, oh no, I think they were already here. What about our scientists? Yeah, okay. Everyone available is working diligently towards constructions of general stores. Fantastic. Okay. So, yeah, our money is now going up. As you can see, uh, it's gorse technology. Okay. So, let's start cracking on gorse weapons. Because I like gorse weapons in this. I do. They're fun. Ooh, small touchdown. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to go for it. Try and one go. They don't stay touched down for very long, but if you can catch them with their pants down, we can get a lot of materials from this. 
just depends whether we actually can get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going to be a night mission. It's going to be a night mission, guys. And it means the aliens are going to be at their full strength. So, we need to equip. As you can see, I've equipped everybody with lots of grenades. So, we're pretty much good. Now, as for H, scenes we're underwater. What I might do is take your loadout off. Give you the torp launcher. Uh... Use these small torpedoes up because I don't think we're going to need much more than small torpedoes for now. Get them used. You've got a large torpedo in there ready to rock anyway. And I'll give you one of those. I don't think having something in your, your uh, offhand actually impacts your accuracy at all. So that's good. Now, because we're also nighttime, we need flares. This mission could be an absolute slaughter. And in all fairness, it probably will be. But, oh god, she's over. Let's see what else we've got here. 24 of 26. Put, put one nade down and grab a flare. Oh boy. you got 10 rounds. We need some more uh, bolts as well. Harpoon clips because we don't have many. Two grenades for everybody should be sufficient. Okay, they only weigh three. That's not too bad, actually. But we want everybody to have one of those near enough anyway. Now, phosphorus ammo is really good. Because, obviously, it burns underwater. And you can use that as a light source as well. So... <laughs> Okay, where are we? Okay, so we're in this top corner, which is actually quite nice. Now, we're going to use this tank as a scout, but you can see how dark it is. It is incredibly dark out here. Now, later on, we will get better tanks. And what do I mean by better tanks? I mean tanks that can fly. Oofed. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. But we want to get as much light out. Out of range. Oh, you're weak. But that's fine. Because what we need to do, in the, especially in the early game, guys, we need to protect our soldiers as much as we can because we need them to get better once you enter the late game and you have weak useless soldiers it's not good because it's all about that accuracy uh, we can hock one more no I think we'll leave it there for now now the tank is ooh. The tank is squishy. The tank is very squishy. But it's okay, because it only costs us money. It's taken a little bit of damage, but he's seen two contacts. Let's see if we can move. Now, the advantage of getting him to move is he will, in theory, draw reaction fire from the aliens. So they'll waste what little time units they've got left over trying to kill him. And our men will be riding the gravy train. Right, so I can see. Let's start getting the nades out. What have we got? 13. <sighs> Need 14 to throw. So what we can do. Okay, you're no good. Get you... Get you back inside then. That's a bugger. We got anyone, right? You. Prime. Boom. What we can do now. That's primed, left hand. Can you? Throw that bad boy. 
Oh, we are using the right one, aren't we? Left. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, okay, so that, yeah, that's the left, because obviously it's left, but it's kind of weird, because on the screen... Ah, okay, fine. Right, throw. Out of range. Oof. Oof. This is a problem of having weak soldiers, but that's fine. He's now out of TUs. Okay. Okay. You can't even duck, which isn't great. But can you primonade? And hock it out there. Unable to throw. Okay. One more step. 17, need 14 to throw. Okay, cool. That's fine. I don't like having these guys out here, but... That's the way it goes. That's two... Oof. That's two a... Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Now, were there any grenades left over that were primed on the floor? Let's have a look. He can see one. This is that guy there. Right, he's got six grenades on the floor. That's fine. Let's go for one of these. Prime it. Get that fucker out there. Ooh. That might not work. We know there's another guy down here. Can we find this guy? Come on, where are you? Where are you hiding? We know he's down there somewhere. Well, for now... We'll take it. Yep, yeah, tank's been hit again. That's fine. Tank's actually not damaged. Not really. So, that's cool. Okay, so we know there's an alien down here. I'm going to just keep scouting. Out of time units. That's bad. Get everyone back in the boat for now. And they will draw some fire. At least the tank should draw some fire. Don't know how many aliens we've got to deal with here. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we know there's one down there. And we know there's one up here. Let's get everyone naded up. H, I want you right at the door. You're ready to go. You're also ready to go. Actually, we could get some more light, which would be fine. Now, it sounds kind of bad losing two guys. No, oh, no, stop moving on this mission, but the amount of gear that we could potentially get from this, it is worth it. Okay. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I can just imagine one grenade coming in there, popping the lot. Ouch. But we're not, we're not going to worry too much about that. There is, ooh, there's a lot down here. Now, like I say, losing the tank's not the end of the world. Right, what have we got here? 56 TUs to do an aim shot, or 23 to do a snap. Ooh, one down. That's fine. 
but we know there's another one down there for sure. I don't really want to get any soldiers out of here, out here just yet. We could get a die grenade out here. Is that primed? Prime it and drop. And get the fuck back in. At least that way, when they come out, they'll have a little bit of cover. Okay. I do literally mean a little bit of cover. H. H is ready to rock with the top launch. Ooh, you can see him. He's there. 23 TUs. Ooh. Good kill. Quality kill there, guys. Okay. Check behind us. There is indeed another one. H. Got 37 TUs. Get a snapshot into that area. Oof. Not great. Can we get someone else? With a grenade. To hock it down there. 14 time units. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. That is good. Okay. I think we've cleared them out from down here. Right, get back inside. This is how we play XCOM in the early game, especially at night. Ooh. Ooh, that was really bad. This tank is almost out of action. But if they're fairly far off... We can start spilling our guys out. Not a lot of cover. But we will make do. Everyone get grenade in hand. And move out. Just make sure. Yeah, we need to sort this area out up here. Let's get that out there. Okay, that's fine. I think. <laughs> Is there a... Are you ever safe in XCOM? Let's try and move the... Well, I think the tank's scrapped, to be honest. Its strongest armor is at the front. That's fine. That's also fine. I don't mind them wasting their turn units. On shooting the tank. We've got a lot over here. There's the, right, there's the sub. So, if that tank actually does indeed survive, which is not guaranteed, could we get a torpedo over here? It doesn't look like it. I don't think there's any real clear line of sight. Let's get H to pull up. Alright, let's get you down. Oh, you can't duck. That's fine. Alright, let's get you behind that. Again, it's not a huge amount we can do. I'd love our guys to be fairly strong and capable so we can hot grenades really long distance, but with these rookies, that's just not possible at this point. Keeping your men alive so they get... Uh, some pretty decent XP under their belts is so important. Right, you can duck. Just keep getting everyone out. Also, it's not wise to prime grenades without throwing them because, well, <laughs> um, if they get shot and they're in a group of your men, oof, oof. That's all I can say about that, oof. 
Okay. Now, you guys. You've got some die grenades. Prime, yes. Get that down there. Let's try and get our men covered as much as we can. Now, smoke grenades aren't exactly fantastic. But, they're better than nothing. Do I not prime that grenade? Prime. There we go. Not enough time units. Oh shit, I see. Okay. Well, we're going to have to roll with that then. Yep. The tank is scrapped. But that's okay. That's okay. That's unfortunately the way it goes. Now, we're just going to have to move up slowly. The problem is we've got no cover and the aliens can see us, which is something worth noting. All right, that grenade is now activated. I don't know how far these guys can throw. Not far enough at all. So get down and duck. What we need H Can you, buddy? You got 42 time units. You cannot. But you can, hopefully. Get a rocket out. Okay, and one second guys, okay we're back, right, um, this is going to be a bit of a slaughter, I would like to get some dudes to come around here, but getting them here is going to be a pain, I could run someone down here, or we could try and run someone up here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way it's going to go. To be honest. Have we got any more smoke? We do. Damn it. Uh, so if you hock that bad boy over there. Okay, well, I mean, that didn't really go as planned, did it? But fine. In that case, just move up. You just move up to waist high cover. At least there's going to be plenty of cover around here. Right, they're definitely around the sub, which is fine. H. H is locked. Put another... Put another torpedo on them. Trouble is, there's nothing here for the torpedo to actually impact on. So, in that case... If H moves up... And kneels... I want you to move up as well, but you've got, like, no cover anywhere. But we can get you moving. Check. I think we're good. Get you to move up as well. Got to use as much cover as we can. Now these guys aren't useless because they can resupply these guys up here with grenades. And also... Yeah, you're primed. That's fine. You guys can start moving as well. Let's get you up into that position. If you can make it. You cannot. That's not even primed. Damn it. Bit of a sitting duck, but hopefully you'll be okay? Question mark? Still some hidden movement. I'm guessing they are in their sub. 
which is okay. You get a grenade in your hand. If you prime the grenade, can you get it over? Out of range. So what is your range? Your range is crap. Dude. See, if we go for that, 21 turn. Yeah, you should hopefully be able to get out of there as well. Yeah. Yep, yeah, your shot's blocked. So can we move you up? That's fine. Now you. Oh, there's no cover at all. There really ain't nothing. But you only have 18 to use anyway. Let's get you some backup. If I can. Kind of. That's fine. Be nice to peel some guys down here, but they've got to run through all this area without getting shot at. Can you make it over there? Should be able to. Yes. What about you? Possibly. Maybe. Yep, that'll work. Alright. You guys possibly can head down here. Because you've got a lot of cover of the smoke, so... We'll use that to our advantage for now. Ah, Elizabeth. Yeah, she's the... Grenadier. Okay, that's fine. They're definitely still there by the sub. Which is cool. Anyway, guys. We're going to have to end this video here. Because we are out of time. So... When we come back, um, we are going to hopefully take this. I'm expecting casualties. Uh, I will be very surprised if we get out of this unscathed, but we shall see. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.